Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here with another quick tip for your keyboardless portable Windows gaming PC. Yeah, you all can call it a console all you want, but remember it's just a PC. So anyway, now everyone's familiar with this icon because this thing brings up the touch keyboard. Okay, but if you see there's another extra icon on the right here, so this brings up the touchpad so basically this is just like your laptop touchpad it controls the mouse you can you can click with it you can left click you can right click okay so it's basically a it's basically a mouse it's basically a touchpad just like your laptop touchpad okay so to bring out this this touchpad what you have to do is you just tap and hold on the taskbar go to taskbar settings and <clears throat> enable and disable this virtual touchpad here okay so that's how you enable it now some of you might be wondering so why would you need when, when you have a touch screen okay why would you need a virtual touchpad? I mean, even though it's nice that you ha you have yours, this is a smart touchpad, so you can do the multi-point scrolling and and whatnot. So you might be wondering, why do I need a virtual touchpad? Well, sometimes it could just be the fact that you need to maybe you want to have have more exact and targeted control of the mouse pointer so maybe you just want to be a bit precise okay so note the zooming pinch zoom works on this touchpad yeah if you have a bigger screen than this gpd win 4 i guess it would be easier to do to do all this so the but the main reason isn't for this okay the main reason for using a touchpad is even though we have the ability to click and tap at home for right click on the touch screen the problem is that certain programs are going to like just lock consume that touch screen event and not allow you to click or, or right click okay so let's just go to steam here and if you're looking around so I can view it and I can I'm gonna just right tap in this okay so I can like tap and hold I can bring up the context menu but if we go into the library tab okay so I can tap I can scroll but let's say I want to manage one of these things so I'm gonna do a right click so I'm gonna just tap and hold Oh look, there's something wrong. So the problem is that there are going to be programs where they're just going to listen to the touch event and basically just swallow the whole touch and hold gesture so that you cannot initiate right clicks. So that's when of course you need the virtual touchpads because with the virtual touchpad you can right click and you can actually do what you need to do okay so that's it that's why you should enable the virtual touchpad on your keyboardless portable windows gaming pc because some programs just don't respond correctly to the touch screen itself okay thanks for your time and uh, i will see you all in the next video